everyone. So in front of me, I've got quite a few Pokemon uh, booster packs and a special set. Uh, we did a video the other day doing kind of just a walkthrough of Target, looking at some cool collectibles and new items that they had. And we just did a random card uh, kind of pull unpacking. I just wanted to buy some more. I, I had to unbox some more. Um, so in front of me, you see this is, uh, they have these two packs, plus two rare, plus two bonus items um, packs. And they also have a two packs plus 40 sleeves. Um, the main reason I went for these was, you know, bang for your buck. Um, you get quite a few cards and special items. Um, I think these are about 10 bucks each on the two packs. Um, and the bigger box in the background, I actually bought off of the recommendation off of another YouTube video I saw, um, saying that it might be a cool collector's item to have. I like figures and things like that even more than cards. So um, just having that box is pretty cool to put on my shelf with the rest of my Pokemon collection. Um, I'm gonna pull these open. And we're gonna see what we get. Some of these are older sets. Um, this one here in front, front and center is Pokemon Evolution set and Pokemon Sun and Moon Lost Thunder. Um, and then I think the other two here have one Steam Siege set and one, um, I'm not sure what the other one is, so we'll see when we open that up. Um, and then all the ones in this box here, I think are of the most recent expansion. So those are Sword and Shield, Rebel Clash, um, and one other set that's in there. So we're gonna check each of those out. So I'm gonna pop this one open. Uh, so each of these came with uh, 20, looks like these are just yellow backing, clear front kind of sleeves here. These are kind of look like <laughs> like sliced cheese. I uh, hope they look better with some cards inside. So again, any any like really cool uh, hollows or uh, you know ultra rare cards or anything like that, I'll throw these in, into the sleeves and probably keep those. Then I have a evolutions pack with the Venusaur in the front and a Sun and Moon Lost Thunder with uh, looks like Zero Aura on the front, which was one of the mythical. Pokemon uh, from the Sun and Moon era of the games. So I'm gonna start with that one. And I've tried to do this before in all kinds of different ways to try to get it right the way that so many other prominent card openers do. And I'm gonna try to get in here. So we've got a code card, which I'm gonna put aside. And then it looks like what most of the time they do is one, two, three, and four. So back one should be an energy. I'll put those in front, turn that over, and okay, I may have done it right this time. <laughs> We've got a psychic energy. We've got Morty Trainer. We've got Stantler. Quilava, Pikipek, Bruxish, Dedeny, or Dedeny, boy, I'm probably butchering the name of that one, Cyndaquil, Wurmple, and I see something interesting, whoa, cool, this I don't know what kind of hollow to describe this as. I know regular hollow, reverse hollow. This is a Xerneas, and it has got this shining kind of diamond that you can see shimmering there. I'm gonna have to look up the rarity on that. I don't know what it is. Looks like it just might be a regular rare based on the black star, uh, but that is a really cool hollow effect. Cool. And Lapras on the back. So that is a non-hollow rare, it looks like. I'm gonna open up the Evolutions pack. May have spoiled the back of that one. All right, sleeve on the side. Code card, out. And I will go one, two, three, and four. Pull that back. Flip it around, did I do it? 
All right, we don't have an energy here. This might be one of those sets that doesn't include an energy. I am not by any means an expert on the contents of each of the series and different packs are included. So I'm just gonna flip through these. Got an Electrode. Got a Magmar. I like the, uh, looks like this was like the original uh, design of the card from, I don't know if you remember playing the base set. Venusaur Spirit Link. Metapod, again, this is another old design for the image on this card. Weedle, same there. This is the old design. Electabuzz, again. Drowsy, again, these are all, I mean, that might be the theme of evolutions. I think this might've been kind of bringing back all the old designs and then throwing in some new stuff. Again, I haven't collected cards in years and years and years and years. Staryu. There's the energy, so I <laughs> I must have mixed that up somehow. And the looks like this is a f reverse hollow trainer card. Switch. Very shiny. I like that. All right, cool. So I'm going to pull one of the other sets here. These are a little bit different. They don't have sleeves. Um, this is two packs, two rares, two bonus. First one out, second one out, garbage to the side. So here is one pack. This is, let me get the light better on that so you can see. This is Steam Siege uh, with, I believe, Gardevoir on the front. Cool. And this is Sword and Shield with, yeah, that's a pretty Really cool image of uh, Gigantamax Snorlax there. Cool. Uh, so let's see what these uh, two rares and two bonuses are in each one. So this one has, this is a hollow Blitzel. This is a hollow of a common, I believe. It's pretty cool. That might be the bonus item. And this is a reverse hollow Frogadier which is the second evolution, of, or sorry, the first evolution of Froki. Evolves further into Greninja, which is a super fan favorite of mine in particular. Cool. Uh, the other two bonus items. We've got a cool looking Pikachu. I don't know if this is from this set or from another set, but this is a really cool image of Pikachu there. Really nice illustration. And a Pidgeot. So again, I don't know how they're classifying these as bonus items. It just might be, it's a random card. I'm gonna start with the Sword and Shield because I really like the cards that are in the Steam Siege one, so I'm gonna save that for last. Um, let's do a Sword and Shield pack. Peel it up the front. Okay. Sword Shield, Code Card, out, and one, two, three, and four. Flip it back, Let's see if that convention is standard there. Flip it over. Hey, I've struck it again, cool, there's the energy. Driz Drizzile, this evolves into Inteleon. Uh, and obviously is the evolved form of Sobble. So this is a, the second form of the water starter from Sword and Shield in the Galar region. Bisharp, I believe that came out in the Unova region. Evolution Incense. Grookey, Shelder. Mawile, which I actually have a hollow of this one somewhere, the same card. Galarian Ponita was a really, really cool illustration. The colors of Galarian Ponita and Rapidash are both awesome. Sobble, cool. So I have Sobble and his evolved form, Drizzle, Drizzle, <laughs> Drizzle. Oh, nice. So this is a different Drizzle, and this is a reverse hollow. Trying to get that in the light there. 
pretty cool. And the last is a Galarian Rapidash. So we got both Galarian Ponyta and Galarian Rapidash. This is a rare, but this is unfortunately not a hollow. Cool. What do we got next? We have got another Steam Siege pack. So Steam Siege is the pack that we bought yesterday on a whim and got a really cool pull. We got an ultra rare Hydreigon break card, golden hollow looking horizontal card. So that was really cool. Maybe I can get something cool here too. Okay. Now these don't have an energy, if I recall correctly from my mistake. Got a code card in the back. Throw that out. And I'm still gonna do the, I don't know if there's a better way to do this, but I'm just gonna flip it over and start. Got a Nidorino, or Nidoran, sorry. Clauncher. A Fletchling. Hop it. Sneasel. Looking pretty whimsical there. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Monferno. That is a pretty cool card. Uh, I believe we have Chimchar Monferno and Infernape after him. Don't know the rarity. Might just be an un uncommon, I think. Oh, and then right after, boom, in th in Hollow Infernape. Not the reverse hollow, just the regular hollow. Pretty cool. Falafi and Anorith. Oh, we got two more there. Well, let's just go through each one. Falafi, another Monferno. We got two Monfernos? Interesting. And an Anorith. Okay, cool. So that was the Steam Siege. Another two pack, two rare, two bonus. Pulling it open. Out. I kind of wish it was like one blister for the whole thing, so two blisters. All right, we got this out to the side. Goodbye, trash. Okay, one pack of sword and shield with Zacian or Zakian, the legendary from Pokemon Silver, and another Steam Siege, also with a Guard of War on the front. Cool. Let's check out the bonus items. We got a Tentacool and a Rock Ruff. Again, I think the bonus now are just two random cards. And these are the two promised rares. This is a Reverse Hollow Lapras. Very shiny. And ooh, this is a cool one. I think this is from the Alolan region, so this would be from Sun and Moon. Or Ricorio. Another Reverse Hollow. And I think this is an uncommon as far as the base card. I don't know what the rarity difference is if it becomes a hollow. Okay, those are out. Sword and Shield Pack. Okay, I've already seen the one in the back, so again, I'm not really doing this the way that most card Unpackers would. I don't know what the correct term there is. It's not quite an unboxing. It's a booster pack. Um, <clears throat> so there's a code card. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to try to do the four trick. One, two, three, and four. Throw it on the back. I think I might have done five another time. Boom. Got the energy. So I'm getting a little bit better. There's the energy. Kingler. Hyper Potion. Citrus Berry. Trainer card. Score Bunny. This is the fire starter from Sword and Shield. Silicobra. Yamper. Grookey, the grass starter, Sword and Shield. Qfont. Ooh, cool. We got a ride on. Looks like a reverse hollow. Nice. And the last one is a hollow Santa Cobra. That looks like it's just a rare, not an ultra rare. Nice. Another Steam Siege. Open. Co 
code card out. So we can do the four thing. One, two, three, and four. All right? Well, that makes a difference. Cool. Whoa! Right off the bat. So I screwed up the order here, so we're not getting the uh, climactic effect of going to the last one. This is a full art Guard of War EX. I don't know if this is the secret rare or not. It is really, really, really cool looking. This is the full art card. The holographic effect on this is really nice. This is a fantastic card. <laughs> I am very, 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 very pleased with this. Awesome. So out of three Steam Siege packs we've opened, we got one ultra rare break card, and this one is at least an ultra rare. Might be a secret rare. Might be a secret rare. This is awesome. Full art card war EX holographic. Amazing. All right, cool. Let's see what else we got in the pack. Nothing else is going to beat that. Braviary. Lampet. Clang. Oshawott. Rufflet. Tangela. Ooh, I like the illustration on this one. Crowagunk, Mareep, that, and Holographic Rufflet, Reverse Hollow. Nice. Awesome. So we'll move on to unboxing the large Sword and Shield figure collection. I'm going to pull this box up a little closer so you can see the different parts of it. You can see there's four booster packs back there, one promo card right in the front, which is a Pikachu featuring artwork, full artwork on the card with Sobble, Grookey, and Score Bunny, the starters from Sword and Shield, also featured here. There's also a figure of the three starters, and then we've got some information and artwork on the back. So this contains one full art foil card featuring Pikachu, one figure of Grookey, Score Bunny, and Sobble together, four Pokemon booster packs, and a code card for the Pokemon trading card game online. I'm trying to figure out the best way to open this because I'm definitely going to keep the box. And after I'm done with unboxing or unpacking these cards, I'm probably going to put everything back into this box, except for the cards, of course, and keep this box and put it on my shelf, probably with like Pokemon plushies and special sets, things like that. Um, so I don't want to rip anything. This is kind of glued down. It's not like a tape there. Um, let's see here. Again, this is glued. Glued at this edge. This might be glued at all edges. So there might not be a really great way to open this without providing, without doing too much damage. I'm going to use this box cutter to try to limit the amount of damage I have to do. I'm going to open one of the horizontal sides so I have to cut less of it. Oh, that went really smooth. Okay, the glue is not that thick or strong on these. So that opened really nicely so far. I'm going to do another run. It's coming off. Okay, so if you see here, get the lighting better. I didn't really rip anything. Uh, I would say box cutter worked really great on that. If you're trying to open this without any damage, that seemed to be a great way to do it. Cool. Pop that open. Slide out the plastic insert. So there's some more artwork on the back of the box. Okay. Here's the plastic inserts. Double layered. Oh, it's falling out. Okay. Lots of inserts here. If I want to put this back together, it's going to be a project. Oh, I'm trying to do it without damage. Okay, cool. So here's the promo card that was right in the front. This is a full art holographic Pikachu. Not incredibly rare or anything like that now because these are pretty easy to find right now, but if they ever discontinue this pack, might be a sought after card. We'll see. I don't know, I like the artwork of it. So 
I'm going to throw that into a sleeve and probably put it back in the box with the rest of it because that'll be a good display card because I'm not going to use it to play. All right, we got four packs. There's the code card they promised. Here are all the packs. I've got them all upside down. <laughs> okay, so like I said before, I wasn't sure what all the names of the expansions would be in this, but we've got Sword and Shield Rebel Clash with, uh, that was Rebel Clash with Gigantamax Toxtricity. This is also Rebel Clash with Rillaboom, the third evolutional Grokey. Oh, then we actually have some Sun and Moon packs. Okay, cool. So uh, some variety here. Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse. 10 cards in each of these. I'm gonna go with the Sword and Shield, Rebel Clash. Probably the most recent ones first. What do I? I'm like the older, leave the older ones for last. All right. Code card out. One, two, th oops, one, two, three, and four. Flip. Boom, getting better each time. Blue energy, water. <laughs> uh, Chat hot. Charger bug. Skunk tank. Metatite. Stunky. Grubbin. Wingle. Not two. Sigalith. Ooh, is that a reverse holo? Yep, yeah, reverse holo Sigalith. Cool. And Toxtricity. Non holo rare. Cool. Let's do another Sword and Shield. Okay. Code card out. One, two, three, four, flip. There's our steel energy. Palpitude. A trainer scoop up net. Another chat tot. A Voltorb. Sandy Gast. Vulpix. Really good illustration there. Coughing. Shinx, Galarian Perserker, Reverse Hollow, pretty cool card. That is a rare, that is nice. And the last one, boy, okay, quite a few non hollow rares. Cramorant. All right, last two packs coming up. Cosmic Eclipse, Sun and Moon. I haven't seen any cards in this series at all. So I know the Pokemon in that region Lolan, but I don't know what cards are in this expansion or what the mechanics were. So, code card out. One, two, three, and four. Pull that around. Again, I don't know if this is one of the non energy ones, but whoop, there we go. There's our psychic energy. Toge Demaru. Absol. Flareon, love Flareon. Sphiel. Passimian. Rowlet. Lillipup. Skrelp. Reverse Hollow Azrael. And this really cool animation looks like Crocheted. That is a cool card. Reverse Hollow. And a Raichu. Non Hollow Rare, I believe. Cool. Last pack, Lycanroc, Midnight Form on the Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. So we got Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse and Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. Pull that open. Ah, 
right side of this pack. Cool. Packs out. Code card. One, two, three, and four to the back. And flip. Psychic energy. Machoke. Glizor. Komala. Stuffle. Whalmer. Machop. Wimpod. Jangmo O. Machamp. Reverse Hollow. Very cool looking card. Awesome. Like that a lot. I always like to get the third evolution of things as a hollow. That's what I always liked as a kid. So that's cool to have this one, especially from something from the 151. And the final card, another non hollow rare, Oricorio. Looks like there's a different form than the other Oricorio we got. Cool. All right, so that does it for all the cards. Last thing, but certainly not least, the figure. So this came with a really cool little figure. It's really tiny, but there's pretty good detail on the three starters from Sun and Moon. Oh, sorry, I'm not Sun and Moon. Sword and Shield. Score Bunny, Sobble, and Groki. Standing together. All right, that does it for this box. I am definitely going to hold off on buying cards for quite a while after this. I just had the hankering for them and had to do it. Hope this was fun. Until next time.